The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Lines were virtually non-existent in polling places across Florida. Happy Election Day. The Secretary of State declined to predict turnout, but he pointed to the dismal turnout four years ago as a benchmark. I think in 2010, which was the last off-year election, the turnout was 21 percent. Uh, so uh, I think that ought to be an admirable goal that we should try to reach today. But hitting the 2010 numbers could be difficult. The yokes on you. Four years ago, there was a divisive GOP primary for governor. Overbilling Medicare. Political scientist Carol Weiser says that kind of excitement and interest just isn't there this time around. Very hot in Florida. A lot of people are still kind of on vacation. Um, the other thing is there are lots of races that aren't contested. Leaving Weissert's office, we decided to ask the lawn guy across the street if he was voting. I just don't vote. Why? It's too busy, man. I got to work. Tell me your name. Then we met 90-year-old Mary Jones as she was leaving her polling place. She's been voting Wait, since 1940. What would, the, what would you say to those people that say they're too busy to vote? I think they're stupid. <laughs> Just and what stupid. do you really think? I really think they're stupid. Why do you say that? Why? Because it's our priv not just our duty, it's our privilege. What will be notable about this election is the record percentage of people who voted by absentee. 856,000 people, a quarter million more than four years ago, voted by mail. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda.